Welcome to Don Quixote Writing Academy. In this video, we're going to talk about what stories really are. And also, we're going to talk about some basic tips to bear in mind for those who are trying to write stories. These tips are applicable from a short story to a big novel. But to begin with, let's define what a story really is. Well, basically, a story is anything you can tell. Nevertheless, it is important that through our stories we explain things, deliver emotions, teach about something, and also be able to entertain the audience. Now, if you want to write a good story, there are some other things you need to know. First, you cannot expect to write a masterpiece without constant practice. Becoming a proficient writer takes time, discipline, and constant improvement, either by the use of different techniques or forms to develop your ideas, but also through constant reading practice. There is no good writer in history who has ever become a better one without reading other authors. Second, even though you might have lived great experiences or witnessed great events in your life, it is important that you take some time and analyze those experiences before you write about them. Through those analyses, you will arrive to new perceptions, meanings, and values. Remember, the audience is intelligent, and though they might think your story has good explanations and descriptions, they will also expect to be entertained, feel different emotions, and learn something as well. Third, most part of the time and energy we use for developing the story lies on the designing process. Who will be the characters? What do they want? What are they able to do in order to achieve their goals? What does stop them from achieving their goals? What are or will be the consequences if our characters succeed or fail? In your designing, you must answer these questions and many others that may arise. Fourth, for developing a catching plot, we need to introduce an interesting character who is struggling with a problem either internal or external. This problem should be important enough for changing someone's life, and also a broad interest. Common people are not necessarily interested in molecular biology or the string theory, to name a few. Fifth, when describing your characters, please remember that some features will be assumed by the audience on the base of gender and species, so make your audience a favor and please don't be so obvious. And in case your character does look like an average person, try at least to describe the features in a way that we understand that those features define your character in a special way. Six. Remember that characters are emotional entities, therefore, their reactions to the actions you describe should be proportional to those events, unless your character is insane, of course. On the other hand, remember that emotions could be described using characters' thoughts, stage directions, describing physical reactions, and of course, dialogues. Finally, if you feel there's something you cannot describe well, jokes and sex, for example, just don't describe anything like that. It is much better to omit that kind of information rather than providing your readers an end funny joke or a bad scene sex description. That's all for this video. In the following videos, we will discuss subjects such as characters, setting, plot, and style. We hope you had enjoyed this video. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and visit our webpage. See you next time!